Hello and welcome to Wheatzer's Woodshop. My name's Ted. We're gonna make some things. All right, here's the plan. So, we got rid of the old fire pit and we're gonna do a new fire pit. So this will be the center. It'll kind of be like that solo slow stove. Uh, so it's going to be smokeless. We're going to try to go smokeless with this one. The old fire pit was big, about eight foot in diameter, so we took the big rocks out of here. And um, I'm going to use them somewhere else in a garden or a, a, uh, some uh, reinforcement wall or something over there. But in the meantime, or we'll end up using them for the weight in the, the square garden um, boxes that I'm going to put on the outside. So we'll grow geraniums or some citronella plant or something to keep the mosquitoes away, or try to. And then we got uh, brick that goes here. This will be sunk in the ground just a little bit. And then the brick coming on the top, and then we have caps to cap that off. So we're going to have that. Our, we're going to just make our own smokeless uh, fire pit for this. So I got some uh, three quarter inch or one and one and a quarter inch chipped rock, one load so far in the trailer. That's probably going to cover a third of this. But I'm going to use the tractor, the box blade, and I'm going to rough this up, try to find some big rocks. I'm sure there's some big rocks in here. Come back with the rototiller, smooth this all out in this square, and then start filling in rock. Um, and then making it as level as possible. So let's, uh, let's see how this... Uh, oh, and then we got solar lights, and uh, we're going to put posts in those those corner beds, those garden flower beds, pots, I guess you want to call them. And then uh, we'll string them out here and then I'll probably end up making my own Adirondack chairs, which will be probably another video. But in the meantime, we're gonna see how this develops. And uh, don't mind the tan, huh? How about this weather? Uh, I look like a half a glass of milk. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. So one of the great features of having a box blade is before I rototill this ground, I'm going to use these blades and lower them down and then get them oh, a couple inches below this. So to me, that just turns the soil and then also picks up some big rocks that I don't want to hit with the rototiller. So this is a great option. I took the pin out already. So each one of these has its own pin and now I'll just put it down two two up so what that does is now the that blade that tine or whatever you want to call it tooth sits below this box blade a couple inches and then as i drag this along and get this nice and level and then just drag it along it's going to pick up and throw something up and out just like a single blade plow or something in theory it's worked for me in the past so i like to use it like this um Someday I'll probably pick up a, a, a single blade plow or something of that sort, but that'll be some you know, major uh, <laughs> garden stuff that I dig up. But I'll probably be sticking to those raised garden beds, so it doesn't matter. So, But these work excellent for this type of area because this used to be 100% cow pasture before this land was developed. So this house was built in 2007, so... And prior to that, it was just, so we've got stumps and we've got, you, you name it out here, giant rocks, which is great for landscaping, but not when you're trying to level some ground and get stuff out of here. So let me uh, continue with these and uh, we'll see it in action.
there you have it. Lots of those. A couple over here. There's some smaller ones that came up, but this is what I was looking for. Look at this guy. That's what we need. Skip this whole area. As you probably saw it on the video. So going to take a couple more passes, get this straightened out, and then uh, we'll switch to the rototiller. Get all these rocks out of here. Fill up that bucket. We've got more rocks for some, uh, some rock walls or some uh, borders that I could use, maybe even along the driveway. But other than that, uh, boy, that thing works great. Probably the only tool you should have with uh, a small tractor. All right, so here's the plan. Uh, I now hooked up the rototiller. So we got that dirt pretty much turned and uh, I got the big rocks out of it, most of them. We'll probably find some still, but I got this a pretty low setting. So all I'm gonna try to do is bring up that malt or that um, topsoil that we got and then turn that up and I want to just get that as flat as possible. So, and then it's easy to maintain or to adjust, I guess, once that is all churned up and uh, tilled and then that dirt will be nice and soft. So we'll probably only have three inches of depth, maybe four inches at the most. And then that gives me a better chance to level out all the stone. We'll put the weed guard down and um, we'll go from there. So I'll, uh, I'll get this started up and then uh, move the camera closer. So hopefully I don't hit anything with the rocks flying. So we'll find out shortly. All right, here we go. a little closer so that did a good job I don't know if you could see how many rocks were getting kicked up in that but that did a really good job so I think what I'm gonna do is go through get up all these rocks get these big guys here and then I'm gonna go this way to make this even finer because this is doing a really good job so all right I won't bore you with the rest because it's just going the other direction and I got to get these rocks picked up so stay tuned for the next step <laughs> So this came out way better than I expected. So next step is some, some weed fabric. So we're going to put this down and then stake it down with these fabric staples. And then uh, the next time you see this, it should be covered. So 
And then we're gonna, we got those uh, cylinders, those core cylinders that we're gonna use for the lining of this on the outside, there's a border. And uh, so that'll be the next thing to put down after this. And then uh, we can start moving the, the rock that we have in the background. And if we get that done quick enough, we, we'll go back into town and get another load of that. So it's time to get to work, it's hot. So I better go get some water before I start doing this. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we have. Now that we have this covered with the uh, weed guard, we're gonna take our cylinders and then start lining the side. We had to put a groove in right here first, and then that gets them down into the ground a little bit so we have a nice border. So the next scene you should see is our border. And then uh, these ain't going anywhere. They're, they're about 28 pounds a piece, so I don't think it's gonna get much heavier than this. Pie. All right, so mission accomplished. So far, these liners are, these edges, <laughs> that's what I'm using them for anyway, are working great. So not perfectly square, but uh, neither am I, I guess. So next thing we're gonna do, um, once we start putting the rock in, it's gonna force these to go straight and then we can straighten these all out a lot more perfect. So we're going to probably start in the middle and then we can put the fire ring and get that going and then just keep filling in. So we'll see how much this load takes and then we'll probably have to go back into town if we have time and get another load. So, all right, next shot is going to be some rock. Okay, so unfortunately, this is the only way I can... Uh, my tractor isn't big enough to get over the edge and come from the back and scoop this up. So this is literally the only way I can uh, fill these up. So, but I do not mind the labor. So we'll see. Um, we'll see how fast we can get this done. <laughs> Three more. <laughs> well, all right, there you have it. So, now that the gravel's down, it's already packed pretty good. This is gonna be, here's the, uh, you can get these fire rings at, uh, what's well, a three foot fire ring at Tractor Supply. So we picked one of these up and this is gonna go directly in the middle, which looks pretty close, but we'll measure that. We'll measure that up, make sure that's exactly in there. If I count the bricks, I can get actually pretty close. So, and then around this, I got manor stones that we're going to, or, uh, you know, fence, not fence stones, but man, not manor stones either, but <laughs> retaining wall stones. So we're gonna put those up around there and then the bottom will end up having gaps. So it'll bring the air up, there'll be space. It'll bring it up, we'll sink this down a little bit. We have caps for that. You'll see the whole process. So we're gonna measure it. We'll see how tall those caps, caps need to be so this will probably have to sink into the ground a little bit so we'll have to remove some of this gravel which is fine and then uh, we'll go from there so I'm going to take the tractor load up those bricks bring them over and uh, we'll show you the process on how to build this I hope <laughs> 